SVG's Jason Dackman. We're here at the Regional Sports Production Summit in Chicago. I'm joined by a, a very good friend of SVG, a member of our Regional Sports Production Advisory Committee, John Slobakin of NBC Sports Regional Networks. John, thanks for taking the time. Thank you, Jason. So uh, you have been coming to this event for a long time. You chaired this event uh, a, a few times. Just some thoughts about, obviously, it's an interesting time to be in the, the RSN business, no question about it. What do you think this event means to uh, the industry, just you know, getting everyone together and, and having a chance to, to talk? Well, first of all, thank you for putting it together. It's, a, it's, a, it's an amazing event. It is every year, and every year it's a reminder of the the esprit de corps amongst the RSN group. I mean, I, I as someone who's been with the, in the original sports network business almost all of my professional career, over the years to see everybody come together in difficult times and really create a relationship that has now extended into like what will be, be considered like, you know, somewhat normal business opportunities, the, the, the bond remains. And so having an event like this brings people together it brings them together to that recognition of, oh, like, like I know you, you know me, we know what we do, we, we can kind of learn from each other, which has really been a, a significant uh, event that's happened over the last several years with, with the RSN group. And, and this event is kind of a, um, it, it's, uh, it's kind of a sealer for that, it's a reminder of that. And I think it's, it, like you talked about at the beginning of the meeting, that you want people to be able to have side conversations and, and it's about building relationships. And, and I think this, this is what this represents as much as anything. It's an opportunity for people to build on relationships they have, forge new relationships, and just feel that commonality of the RSN business, the RSN ecosystem is very independent, is very codependent. And so it, it, being with the people that you are codependent with, it, it really gives you that, that sense of community. Yeah, couldn't agree more. Um, and you know, one thing that the entire industry has seen, and they all, everyone helped and worked together on this, was changing production models. We, you know, obviously with the pandemic, it forced a lot of people's hands to rethink the way that they produce live games. Uh, you know, of course, budgetary constraints, logistical constraints. People have had to think outside the box. In your guys' case, you moved to uh, a, a new production model for a lot of away games. Can you tell us a little bit about that and how it's evolved over the last uh, 18 to 24 months? Sure, yeah, look, it, a little bit of a history lesson. Um, forever and a day, regional productions were generally done side by side. Even if they were dual feeds, it was two separate productions that were you know, sharing some resources, not to the extent that they could, but it was seen kind of as a you know, a hit or miss depending on where you went and, and depending on, you know, some shows, you know, some cities are bigger cities, shows are bigger shows. So you kind of like mix and match during the course of the year. Then the pandemic hit and then we had no games and then we had clean feed games and the clean feed games were in place for more than a year. And in that period of, of, of a year, uh, a number of people, not not just myself, but, but you know, other industry leaders that, that were responsible for managing a significant amount of live production realized that you know clean feeds were not the answer they were they were a necessity and and we thank everybody for kind of working together in that process but there was a need to try to come up with something better better editorially better from a facilities you know a, a flexibility perspective and really better for our fans because you know regional sports productions are for local sports fans and having an, a, a homogenized game didn't really do them any favors so uh, one of the things that, that we looked at was a model that uh, you know some of the mobile unit vendors were working on. Um, it, it, we partnered with with Game Creek Video. They they called their solution Game Creek Anywhere. Um, mobile TV group Mobile TV group called their uh, solution Cloud Control. Um, we partnered with Game Creek for our home productions. We work with Mobile TV Group for many of our road productions. But uh, to me, we, we, we called them internally at NBC, we called them RAPs, which is essentially remote access productions, because that's really what they are. You, you're working, you're accessing a facility that is that is not where you are, but you're still able to get that, that truck feeling. We went live with that in, in the winter of 2022, which now is a year and a half ago. Um, but at the time, it was, it was somewhat groundbreaking because all of the NBC RSNs kind of did it. We, we literally flipped a switch like in a, in a matter of a couple of days. We, we had rehearsed and so we had planned for it. It wasn't like we just were throwing spaghetti against the wall, but um, it, was, it was a relatively quick, rapid change. And now we're a year and a half in. 
uh, collectively as a group, we've done over, you know, I, 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 I should know the count Several off the top of my head, but so, yeah. I, I think it's almost 700 uh, events and uh, maybe more. Um, but it's become commonplace. But one of the things, and I, and I give a lot of credit to the people who work for us, and, and, and the Bally's group adapted this because they're, they're partners with Mobile TV Group for, for home games. Um, they've adapted it at scale, as have we, and it was great to have them working with us because I think if we had gone out on our own to do it by ourselves, it, it might not have worked. Um, so it was great to have their support, great to have the, 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 the people at Game Creek and Mobile TV Group work together to be able to have that model supported when we went into each other's markets. And now that we're a year and a half in, we, and, and we've done this really since day one, but first it was let's do it, and then it was let's see how it goes, and now it's let's see what we can make better. And the good news is that fundamentally it works and it works well, and so the we're, we're really looking at the margins, like how do we make the margins better, like like the things that, that are maybe some outlier things, but they can be significant in the, in the daily production, but they're not the type of things that would bring it down. And so as, as things evolve, and I know there's been talk of, you know, re true cloud, where you're just accessing things completely through software. And, and while, you know, I think we all have kind of like roadmaps where we've kind of built ideas out like that, for the here and now, the, the, the solution works, it works incredibly well. We're looking at things like greater clarity for multi-view monitors, um, a better, you know, reducing latency, uh, a little bit better audio quality in terms of your communications. But, but those are, again, those are all things that are just things you want to improve. They're not the difference between getting on air and not getting on air. And so I'm incredibly proud of the work that we've done, the work that the industry has done. And the and the want to try to find the things to make it better, and so when we when when and when and if the time comes, we move to something that's again a little bit more dramatic. I think we'll take the lessons from what we're doing now and apply it there, and it, and it won't feel like you know this massive change. It'll just feel like the next progression. Well, it's been amazing to see uh, just how quickly the uh, bleeding edge became the norm for you guys and for the industry at large. And like you said, that doesn't happen if everybody doesn't work together. Um, John, always appreciate you taking the time. Appreciate your support. Thanks so much. Thank you, Jason. For more interviews from the Regional Sports Production Summit in Chicago, stay tuned to sportsvideo.org and our YouTube channel.